All right, Coach, million dollar question. Uh, what do you do about Colin Klein? <laughs> yeah, well, you try to, you know, like I, told, like I told everybody else, you try to you try to contain him. You know, you try to make sure you get a lot of hats around him. Uh, and to do that, we, we got to get off our get off blocks and then go pursue the football. We can't stay stuck on blocks. We got to win our one-on-one -on -one blocks. Uh, you know, we we got to win our one-on-one -on -one battles and uh, try to get as many hats around him as we can. And, uh, and that's the way you, you got to stop him. You can't hope that one guy's going to bring him down by himself. You got to get a lot of people around him. What are some of the things the offensive line do to help Klein out and, to, and enable him to move around? Well, I think, uh, you know, their offensive line is really uh, fundamentally sound, I think. I think they do a good job keeping a good base. They, they do a good job with their hand placement. Uh, they're really good on combination blocks. You know, they, they, do, they do things really well. They're extremely well coached. And uh, you know uh, they, they don't you know, don't you know they may not do anything just great, but they do everything pretty good. <laughs> See, that's kind of the story with these case, you know, especially Coach Snyder teams. You know, they just seem to, nobody seems to be able to pinpoint what it is they they do so well. But I mean, other than they, they just don't make mistakes. I mean, what what are some of the things you guys can do up front to kind of force them into making a mistake or force them into overlooking something or? Well, you know, we want to be physical. You know, we, we, we're going to have to win our battles. We're going to have to win our one-on-one -on -one battles. That's the, I told my guys, anytime you get quarterback run teams, you have to not only be in the right spot, but you got to defeat your blocks, and then you got to get to the ball carrier. If you don't do that, then they, they get the advantage. And so I think we just got to be disruptive up front and, and win our one-on-one -on -one battles. I mean, that's, that's the best way to uh, handle a team that runs the quarterback a lot. You know, this is a rivalry, you know, it's, you know, now it's kind of become the top rivalry this year. But, I mean, you're a guy that's been here a long time. I mean, what, what's this rivalry mean to you? Well, anytime you have an in -state, two in-state schools, um, you know, it's, a, it's an important game to our fans, it's an important game to our university, and it's an important game to our players. You know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, you got bragging rights for, you know, for a year if you, if you win it. Uh, if you don't, you, you got to go a, a year uh, listening to, to to all their fans, and, and, and you know and, and you don't want to do that. You, know, you don't want to do that. So, you know, this is a big ball game. This is a big ball game. Uh, you know, they've they've had the better of it of late, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to. To, to change things. You know, coach, ask Coach Grunhard the same thing as one of the, their main recruiters there, at least locally. I mean, is it what makes more of a difference, being able to go to your in-state rival and claim that victory, as you said, for the year, or bragging rights, or just the fact you went in the number seven, I mean, and beating number, you know, number seven in the country, which is better for you? Well, I, I think, um, you know, obviously, uh, winning, beating your in-state rival is big. And I think when they're when they're ranked as high as they are, that just make that'll make it even more bittersweet, you know, even more sweet for us, um, you know, because they are a good football team, and and, and they're a team that, uh, uh, you know, if, if we want to get this program going in the direction that, that we see it going in, then we got to win games like this. And I think that's bigger than anything, you know, bigger than beating your in-state rival, bigger than beating the number seven ranked team, is getting our program moving in the right direction. So I think that's that's the biggest thing that we're trying to do um, by winning games like this, not just playing them and playing them close to being competitive. We want to win those types of games, whether it's K-State or whoever we play. And so to get this program going in the right direction, we have to start winning those types of games. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's any sort of like souvenir you guys swap back and forth for the win. Yeah, is, we're is there Governor's Cup? So there is a Governor's Cup for them. Okay, yes. cool. I wasn't sure if you guys were gonna go steal a drum or no, you know, <laughs> nothing like that. No cows or anything. Play for the Governor's Cup. And, uh, it's a big deal.